Well, look at this. I believe it works. Look at that. We're in my teepee. It's all thatched. We had a huge windstorm, and where I hadn't thatched, I put leaves on top. But now, that big storm blew the leaves off, so we are left with some ventilation cracks. Yes, indeed. I have covered this hole up, though, with the cattails that blew off of something else. I have a window here in case I wanted a window, but now I don't think I want a window. I need more in there, and up there, and all up there. Oh well. Well, let's look at what we do have. The pillowcases got kind of, kind of rained on. They were on the other end of the bed. Looks like some of the cattails there are in disarray as well. Oh well, winter will come. I'll, I'll enjoy it anyway. Isn't that lovely thatching? Have you really seen this thatching? I did it all with cedar bark and sedge. The cedar bark is the thyme. And the sedge is the grass. And it's all thatched all the way up there. It wasn't thatched that high before. But the top isn't done. I guess I should take grass and just stuff it in. I have some long grass. I have too much grass on one of the teepees. Or one of the little shelters. This camera doesn't like to be out in the sunshine anymore. It just turns white. That happened to my other camera. Now this is a, what is this camera? It's a Panasonic 70X zoom. I mean, you just can't get cameras like this anymore. It's amazing. I think you have some dirt on your face. <gasps> Sorry about that. Now you're, you still have dirt right there. Where is that speck coming from? There, that's better. <clears throat> Ooh, listen to the wind. But we had this major, major wind, and it's mostly still intact. Where I thatched it is the best. Thatching is definitely the best way to do it. When where the thatching ends at the corners, I had leaves. I have more leaves. All the leaves from up above fell down. They slid down from the roof. Usually they just stay. And I guess I should put some more stuff there too. But that has a piece of plexiglass in it. Want to go for a swing ride? nothing better than a swing. It's a little bit crooked because one of my poles broke. It was a short pole and it broke. It fell in. Or it just fell in. I don't think it broke. So those poles up there, there's six of them and they've been there for 25 years and they're quite strong. Cedar is an amazing material. I just love cedar bark. I love working with it. I have this book called Cedar, and it's all these things that the indigenous people used it for. They, from the time they were born, the baby was birthed on a cedar mat and stayed on the cedar mat until the umbilical cord dried up. That's a few days, isn't it? And then they, it was in a cradle that was made of cedar withes. Is that how you say it? W-I-T-H-E-S? Please tell me. I could ask Google, but she's not down here with me. She requires electricity. Anyway, so um, it, the baby was put in a in a with lots of cedar um, shredded cedar bark, and that was the diapers. So they put cedar bark on the baby for a diaper, and they wrapped it in cedar. Well, they just covered it in seed, shredded cedar when it was a baby. And then the clothes that everybody wore were made from cedar. The cedar skirts and shirts and jackets and 
Well, I guess the cedar would be, they would probably also have hides for the coats, winter coats. And they had furniture made out of cedar. They split the cedar and they could bend the cedar and they would make cedar boxes where they kept things, kept the food in it and kept the items in it. Everything was made out of cedar. And if you steam it, you can bend it. I think I'm going to do that. I guess I should do that with a campfire. A campfire and my pressure cooker. I should put the pressure cooker lid, I won't be able to put it on, but I could put the piece of wood across the pressure cooker and put the lid on it. Sit the lid on top of the board which is across the pressure cooker. It's just a big bucket. They made big bowls out of cedar. Their dishes were made out of cedar. Spoons. They used cedar for tying handles and making tools. Cedar, cedar handles and stone tools or even a piece of cedar where the tree goes up and the branch comes out. That's the only, like as big as my finger, that's all you need. You could put it on like that and then it becomes your hoe. Da, 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 da. And from cradle to grave, cedar was there. They called it the, was it the tree of life, the master, the master tree of life or something. Because everything they needed came from the cedar tree. And when I built this, I really wanted to just make it without nails. There are a few screws in here, but those are to hold up things like my, my store-bought Merry Christmas thing. And oh, I've used cedar bark. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. So I have this little thing. Let the sun shine in. And it's held on there. Where'd it go now? It's held in place. It's tied on. Why does that look like a hook? Oh, that's part of it. Okay, and then it's tied on with a piece of cedar bark. Too bad it's so my camera is not what it used to be. The old camera, she ain't what she used to be, ain't what she used to be. You know, this is such a nice little place, and every time I'm in here, I try to make sure that I take out anything that I don't need. See, over there is a whole bunch of cedar bark. Look at this. Uh-oh. Focus. You can do it. It's a big, wide roll. It's about six inches wide. You're just looking at it from the edge. It's wrapped in a circle. It's beside a piece of birch bark. One of you asked me in a comment that I read, which is probably two years ago, I seem to have been doing a lot of not looking at comments. Anyway, I'm trying to go through and answer them all, and I've done everything recent and one year, and now I'm up to two years. And soon I'll be at three years ago. And eventually I'll get to ten years ago. Won't that be cool? And I'll be answering comments that people wrote ten years ago. And they'll think, oh, I remember Nancy today. So many of the comments are, I found you again. I had lost you for so long. And so this will help everybody to know where they are, where I was again. A lot of people don't subscribe. You know, I do put up a whole lot of videos, and so some people prefer just to remember, and then they can look at mine when they are interested. But now there's so many millions of of put uppers uh, channels that um, you know you can't really remember unless you write it down. And who writes things down anymore? That would that would include paper and a pen or a pencil. I know you could save it in your phone, but those things, they leave, they go. You lose everything. Have you ever lost everything? How many times do you lose everything? Oh, well. I was thinking what I would do if I broke my leg in here. If I, I was climbing somewhere precarious today and thought, if I don't watch what I'm doing, I could fall. And so I was looking at what I was doing and stepping over the edge of the garden bed. You see there's a garden bed box right behind there and then there's then there's a gap right there and this is just put in there to hold everything in place but it's not it's not it doesn't go all the way up it just holds the wall in place and behind that is open and from there 
to there is another garden box. And behind me, you can see the garden box. No, you can't. Well, anyway, so there's garden boxes behind everything. My Hugo culture gardens. But once I thatched it all, you couldn't find the gardens anymore. So there's not really gardens anymore. It's a sunny day. It's so pretty today. Hmm. I'll take a breath in between talking. You know what I did this morning? I sent videos of one of, of my son to his girlfriend. And and then I realized that I didn't have a playlist. So I made a playlist for him. And so all of his are in one and all of another son's are in one and my daughter is in one and my other daughter is in one and my other son. I could only put a few in there because they are kind of private. But anyway, and the name they're known by in the world is not the name that I call them. So that helps. Two of my kids. Anyway, and I thought that was cool. One time during the pandemic, my son had said he had lost all of his memories. He didn't have any memories. He had never done anything. And so, you know, I have all these videos of his life. You know, him playing the clarinet, him playing the piano, him making cookies with me, him making a pie crust and making different kinds of pies. He and his brother stacking wood. And he and his brother saying, no, don't film. <laughs> oh well, I've got them. And I've, I put all of Willem's in a playlist. There is like 350 videos that have Willem in the name of them. Which is so cool because Willem's 70 and I'm 60, he's 72 and I'm 66. So He'll likely die before me, but never, no saying because his mother is 95. And my mother died at 88, so you never know. So if he dies before me, I can, I can sit and watch the 300 videos of him over and over, if I so choose. Which I probably will, because that's what you do. You remember everything when somebody dies. I don't really feel like him dying. I think that would kind of cramp my style. You know, being home after Vancouver, being home is kind of, it's very different. It's so different. And I had to meet me down here when I got home. This is where I wanted to be, you know? So we went and we sat in the, in the A-frame. You know, with this camera, I could take you over there and show you that. Well, with cam this camera, I'll just take you wherever I go and now I can upload videos again. So I'll do that later. But I better not make it too long because I don't want to push my luck. I'm still working on uploading the gondola movie. I have to change the sound because it's got lots of talking in it that is private. It can't be on there. So I have been making it into 15 second videos. It's the most awesome, awesome gondola ride. The views down below are so awesome. Most of them haven't been looked at yet. But you never know, one day. Anyway, I've run out of things to say. No, really. So I think I'll swing on the swing. You want to watch? You can pr think I'm going to come and hit you. Okay, I'll turn it off and I'll make another one. Goodbye. There's the swing.